So welcome to the panel, everybody. Uh, this is the live stream is for everyone. Uh, we got Natasha over here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. And uh, Troy, who ran off um, as he does. Okay, so we're not streaming. Whatever, but I'll it's get everything here. else up. We have everything else, right? I feel bad for everybody. <laughs> I was saying, hey, come watch. <laughs> All right. So um, as far as the introductions go, Natasha, tell us a little bit about who you are, what you are, what you do in this realm. I'm awesome. All right. That's it. That's that's all I have. No. Um, hi, I uh, I host a show that shows once a month over on Previews World and Comic Wow called Indie Edge, where I spotlight the my top five picks from the Previews World catalog for independent comics. So um, my main focus and things that I do is to promote the independent artist, writer, creators, cosplayers, things like that. So I'm um, kind of putting a spotlight on those people who might not have a spotlight and they totally deserve to have a spotlight. I also have a show called Talking Toys where I literally talk about toys. Um, it's not as boring as that sounds. I um, show what hot new collectibles going to be in comic shops coming up or is already in comic shops, things like that. So essentially it's my job to just spotlight the independent creators and then cool collectibles that any diehard fan or just kind of fan would want to have. Um, and then sometimes I also guest on Game Trade Media stuff where we um, literally play board games and role playing and all sorts of fun stuff like that and um, teach you how to play cool games that are about to come out. Um, and then on the side, um, I am a costumer and cosplayer and gamer on Twitch. Um, my handle for everything is Canon Doll X. Canon like the weapon, doll like Barbie, and X like X Men. Thanks. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Troy, go ahead and introduce yourself oh, and okay. talk about what you do in this industry. Um, I am Troy Jeffrey Allen. I host uh, co host a show called Previews World Weekly, which is uh, produced over here by uh, Richard Anki. And uh, Canon Doesn't even know X. my name. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> I forgot his name. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, and Canon, uh, Natasha. Canon Doll X. It's, Natasha. It's still, it still works. It still works. Uh, <laughs> Natasha is uh, one of the other hosts of the show, and uh, we do it every Wednesday. And yeah, it's literally, it's literally a promotion for comic book shops. Like that's our whole thing. We work through a major distributor, and uh, you can find us on YouTube every single week. Yeah. It's true. That is what you do. Yeah. All right. Uh, so my name's Rick. I am the uh, production manager for Comic yeah, Wow, which is the vid uh, video oh, digital media hub for yeah. Diamond it's Comic Distributors more. and Alliance Game Distributors. So I do all the uh, stuff for Game Trade Media and also uh, Comic Wow, which is the production house well, for Previews World majors. and all the weird media stuff we're putting out uh, for those two uh, no, distributors. So, um, yeah, so we're, everybody's here to talk about live streaming. So I'm going to tell you what we're going to kind of go over. Uh, we're going to start off with just the basics, um, creating your, and then we're going to move into creating your own content, and then what's your brand, because that's super important, and then we'll just do some Q&As and final thoughts at the end. So uh, kicking this pig, let's hit it with uh, starting off in the basics. Everybody here, who here already streams? Let's get that out the way. Oh, nice. All right, very cool. And some of you probably have way better streams than we do. Uh, so the first thing you want to talk about is gear. Um, at our studio, we have the, some really great stuff with black magic cameras, all that stuff. At home, when I'm just messing around, I want to paint a miniature, this is all I need. I, and this is all I use. I don't have any of the, you know, uh, top gear at home, but I have a $200 laptop and a webcam, and I paint miniatures, and I get 500 people watching me paint. I mean, watching paint dry, which is a lot of fun. Um, which is the really annoying part of painting minis on camera, too. Yeah. By the way, is like, cool, I did this really p cool detail of it and whatever, and like, you want to do a wash over it, but now you have to sit there and like, yeah. entertain people in another way before you can put a wash on it. Like, yeah. <laughs> and you have to wait for that to dry. So, you know, gear, you don't need a lot of gear. A lot of people are doing live streaming right off their cell phones uh, until they can upgrade to the next next spot. Uh, granted, some cell phones are better than this that I use. So, uh, so gear doesn't have to be crazy for starting off. Um, what, what do you use at home there, Canon Dow? For, uh, for me, um, I actually use what I have here other than uh, I use a like legit gaming tower and rig at home. But I have two because I do creative streams. I have two webcams. So one is on me and then one is whatever I'm working on. So you can see, you know, because I think it's kind of silly if you just have, hey, hey, it's me. I'm here. And then you don't know. I'm like occasionally check it out. Check it out. So um, I upgraded, um, just in the last year, actually upgraded to, um, I don't even need a microphone, I'm so loud. Um, <laughs> upgraded to a second cam, 
And, and it's really great um, because it's for, okay, whatever. I was trying to live stream so we could live stream about live streaming. <laughs> we could like Inception. Um, let me see if I can just get it to, maybe that's the problem, whatever. Um, so yeah, so I, um, I have a little setup like that and uh, you know, it's just about, uh, and where we, where we are in our, we have a gaming room. Um, my husband over here, uh, he has his system here. I'm here and then we have our PS4 set up because we have a teenager and honestly I play PS4 too. Um, but it's just um, real basic stuff. I mean, I got these on Amazon for like 60 bucks. They were on sale. I just have the C920. Um, you can get the Chroma one, which you, you can set up and do something like, obviously not like this, but you could just have a green sheet behind you. You get have a green pop up and then suddenly you know it looks more pro because you're in the game you're you know you don't have all the overlays and little boxes like I do which um, I'll just actually bring mine up so you can see how um, it's set up so at home when I'm doing a creative stream I do have got two boxes so the one that's my hand cam is going to be the bigger thing because I think that's more important so like this you've got these guys <laughs> and then the little overlays here. And then when I do a creative at home, it's su super easy. Now all the systems they have, not just with the OBS, with Streamlabs, like the system, this is a new lap laptop for me. So I just put Streamlabs OBS and everything's in one place. You don't have to be rocket science of, oh, I've got to copy paste this over here, this over here. They have it all set up now. So it's super easy. If you are nervous about like, oh, this overlay, or I don't know how to edit this and I don't know how to do this. Everything is there for you now, so it's super, super easy. And it, the whole point is just to get creating, just to get creating the content, whatever it might be. But, um, but yeah, that's my system at home. And then I usually am just in my headset. I don't have it with me. I have a Razer headset that has the microphone right in there, and you can hear all your notifications. And yeah, so very cool. The, uh, the picture you showed earlier with the green screen and all that stuff—that's one of the studios that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is this is the Previews World Studio. Right here, and then this is the Game Trade Media Studio. All that. Yeah, so this is a little higher end than probably you would have at home. <laughs> a little spoiled. That's, little spoiled, that is yeah. Clear. Admittedly. Yeah. Admittedly spoiled in that arena. Yeah, but I mean, you can see here too. So we've got, this is from Happy Little Minis. And you can see you just got a little arm there with the same similar webcam that I mm -hmm. use at home. And that's what shows close-ups of our guest mm -hmm. stars and or Rick or I myself um, mm -hmm. painting minis. Yeah. And that's just something you could do at home too. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot of fun. You don't so, need a $3,000 camera. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need a $3,000 camera. Uh, I mean, unless you got those kind of funds, then awesome. Where right. do you go? I, Nobody I, wants I, to get that get there eventually. You know, mm -hmm. you want to get there where, you know, Black Magic is sponsoring you, right? Yeah. yeah that's, that's the goal. Yeah. yeah. Um, Here's our so, rig, too. Yeah. Again, a yeah. little upgrade. <laughs> yeah, so that's the, that was the Game Trade Media Studio yeah. right there. Um, the close-ups of how everything is shot. Yeah. I have the luxury of having an editor, so I don't worry about gear at all. So that's true. Yeah, <laughs> you just have to show up and talk. I just show up and talk. Um, so, yeah. as far as the basics go, as well, one of the other things you're going to want to take take into consideration, as far as live live streaming paid. for everybody, is because everybody wants a live stream or everybody is live streaming nowadays. You got to find your shtick. Yeah. You know, you got to find what's going to make you break out, or uh, if not break out, be more inclusive into the community that you want to be a part of. So if you want to be a creator, a, a creative on Twitch, and you want to be doing cosplay builds and all that stuff, um, Live it. You, you just want to, you know, first just start doing it. Secondly, have a shtick, have, have your own thing that does break you out, you know. Uh, if you do armor builds or if you're just a foam master or if you're someone that is using some really weird uh, materials, make that your thing. Like, I am the master at this. And uh, what are you doing? I'm doing, going live on Facebook since it won't let me do anything else. So there All you right. go. There you go. Improvisation is also okay. part of the game. So it, you know, let's talk yeah. about your shtick. Who out here has a shtick? All right. He you said shtick. I found a stick on a tree once. What's your shtick? <laughs> Sure. Do you mind standing up? Oh, Thanks. <laughs> Spotlight. Yeah. Um, so reactions are kind of like my big thing. Okay. So now um, I'm doing a lot of community games because community building is super important. Absolutely. So now it's more so like games with communities plus reactions. Cool. Awesome. That is cool. I liked what you told us before the stream, so let's hear yours, your shtick. Uh, so I do. 
more occult um, behind uh, video games, TV shows, movies, all these different things. Like, if you see something and you go, I wonder where they got the inspiration for... Oh, I bet you have fun with Assassin's Creed. Something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll go on stream, go look at, like, Italian, for Assassin's Creed, I'll look at Italian history, mm -hmm. go through different timelines of, like, different religious uh, affiliations, maybe even look at some more Templar stuff. Awesome. What's ever commonly available, and then kind of organize it in a way that people can better understand it. That's cool. Yeah, that's very, very cool. cool. Yeah, so hey, let us, let us know when you guys, uh, let us... You know, if you stream things like that, please tell us what your handle is so we can. We're gonna get we're gonna get yeah. that on my list. We're gonna talk about community and networking. Don't you cut me off, Rick. <laughs> I'm just saying we're gonna we're gonna get there. It's on the list. Uh, so you see, having a shtick will either break you out or build you inside the community you want to be a part of. Um, but the biggest thing, even from the basics uh, in regards to the live streaming and streaming, is if you want to take it seriously, you got to be consistent. Yeah. You got to have, you know, let your community know, your followers know that you're going to be on at this time every time. Uh, and if you're not, you got to let them know that, hey, this is a blackout date because, hey, we're at MAGFest having a good time. Uh oh, hands are up. Yes, sir. Stream. Yeah. That's a great question. Did Stream. everybody hear that? Yeah. How do you do, how do you combat the streaming blues? Because sometimes it takes away from your personal life. As certain interviews with big streamers are like, I literally can't live a life because I'm sitting at the computer all day long because that's what my my community needs me doing, and also my sponsors if people have those. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I I don't have the luxury of having streaming blues because I have to do it because I that's my job. Um, but I know that there are days when I go in there, what I tend to do is I get someone else to come in and do it. <laughs> so that, if you ever see that's a, where I come in. If you ever see somebody watch you know, an episode of Painting Happy Luminis and I'm not on camera, it's because I'm probably in a funk that day and I don't want to be on camera. And people don't want to see me on camera that day anyway, so I'll probably be like salty. So I'll, I'll get someone else to sit down there and they usually do way better job than I did anyways because everybody else seems to be an amazing painter. <laughs> well, and honestly, uh, I think really to get past that is to have a s schedule. Yeah. yeah. Set a schedule. Yeah. You know, like just like you have to get up and go to work, if that's your schedule, you're going to do it. People are expecting you to do it. Um, and I mean, yeah, they understand like if something happens or things like that, like they're not going to fire you. But um, <laughs> like if you are having a funk or something like that, be like, you know what? It, Two o'clock today, I'm streaming no matter what. Even if it's for a half an hour or an hour or anything like that, it's just getting a chance to engage with your community. I would also say, put yourself in a corner. Like, don't put yourself in a position where you can, you can even afford to not record. Like, I mean, we're all in a unique position because we have a production team and all this other mm -hmm. stuff. And but we get paid. they hold us all accountable for that. But even still, like, you know, yeah, hold yourself accountable. Mm -hmm. Just be like, I have to do this. This is part of my rhythm every single week. Mm -hmm. So. And that actually is taking us into creating your content. That first, our first part was talking about scheduling. And you love segues, so there you go. Yeah. Segways. I do like segues. <laughs> this guy's uh, like the king of segues, by the way. He's talking about, she's talking about the two-wheel uh, two deal, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. there you go. <laughs> uh, so talking about scheduling, um, obviously those of you that stream, you guys put up your schedules. You have them on your, on your Twitch banners or on your Facebook page. Who has their own fan page for, on Facebook for that kind of stuff, too? Right, we're gonna talk Raise your that. hands high. Don't be shy, y'all. <laughs> we're all in front of a camera because, at yeah. one point anyway. And because if you already if you already have that going on, the others that are in the room may need to come to you afterwards and ask you some questions. You, you know, you're, you're a community. Turn your phone off. No, these are very important. <laughs> uh, but, you, you know, you're now like a, a, a subject matter expert and... Uh, may have some in, intel and guidance to give to those that are starting to break into this. And certainly a different view. I mean, there's so much to streaming and so many different angles. Nobody has all the answers. Mm -hmm. We certainly just right. have the stuff that we've learned yeah. and mm -hmm. we're trying to share with you guys today. But I mean, like, learning. yeah, we're always learning. Always I learning. mean, you look at some of other people, markets. Cool. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. that? No, it's total nope. fail. These are all just examples of other oops wrong button <laughs> good where we going? At? Oh, well, preparing, well you went to scheduling and then prepare your stream <laughs> no we're not there i know well i'm just saying like <laughs> examples yeah are, I can't are we get there it. now no just oh god <laughs> all right so, so what i have to work with y'all is important because you gotta let your community know the or, or your followers know that 
at this time you're going to be online doing your thing and that also uh i don't want to say conditions them but they are also scheduling their time if they are a true fan they're scheduling their time out of the day to watch you do the thing that you do because you are entertaining and you are providing them with uh an, an escape from whatever re reality they want to get away from you know so letting them know and being regular on that is very important so yeah, so the next part that we okay. want to talk about in creating your content is preparing for your stream. It's not, you know, it's not all about just turning on that computer and sitting down and playing a game or building a thing or cooking a meal, whatever your shtick is. It's also about doing some research as the gentleman there does. Okay. He does his research. Sounds like extensive it's research that too. Pre-production, a lot of times there's some pre-production that's uh, uh, required for your stream if you're a creative a builder or whatever um, but also being camera ready uh, how many people have watched the stream and it's like did that person like just get out of out of bed and look horrible do you want to watch that I mean unless that's your thing uh, <laughs> that's your shtick you know that's I'm the dirty streamer <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> Wow. Yeah, but nobody knows in your face, honey. <laughs> <laughs> He's a blacksmith, just so you know. So, dirt and him kind of hang out a lot. That's yeah, his camera, And a lot of times, it's that shtick is your, is you, because a lot of people don't just come to watch people play Overwatch or Fortnite. They want to watch the person playing it. You become mm -hmm. the reason they watch that particular stream. So some people will, you know, have a different hat on every day, and it's extravagant every time. I watch. All right, so I watch this girl that cooks on on Twitch, Thanks. and she has a different hat on every time she cooks. And I watch it for the hat. I want to see, what's a cool hat she's going to wear today? Uh, You're you so know. weird. <laughs> and it'll be like right around lunchtime at work, and I'll just be like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go back to work, you know. But I, I, I stop in, I say hi, and I'm like, love the hat, have a great day, and then I'm, I'm off doing whatever else I got to do at work. Okay, but, you know, the shtick, the appearance, being camera ready, being – that personality that the individuals that you're trying to cultivate as your fandom and as your fans are going to want to come back and be a part of your community that, you build, that you're building. It's super important. I mean, mine's not a huge stick, but I always make sure I have my red lipstick on before I always. stream. Every time. As you Every are. time. Even when I do stuff at the studio, like it doesn't matter. I could have no other makeup on, but as long as I have my red lipstick, like I feel like I can yeah, absolutely. talk to people and talk to a, you know, a little thing over here. <laughs> <laughs> She's been trying to get me to wear red lipstick. Um, as far as being camera ready, uh, I know particularly for women, uh, the drug squad makeup brand, they don't always translate well yeah. to camera. Yeah. And I come from a theater background, so theater makeup mm -hmm. is often too heavy for camera. So what would you recommend as a big in-between uh, for... Makeup line? I would say actually join my group on Facebook called uh, Natasha's Battle Worthy Cosmetics. And I've got plenty of stuff on there. Because, um, like, today, like, I have foundation on. I have that. But normally, even when I stream now, like, I can just wear, um, I have color-tinted moisturizer. So it's, like, it's just enough to make you not look like you're dying on camera. But also not like you're wearing 50 pounds of makeup. Sure. So, yeah. And it's definitely, you know, and it, it depends. Your lighting, your lighting is going to make a big difference. Um, that's the thing I didn't mention. My setup at home, like, we have these little ring lights. Now, they're not right around our... Um, or camera, because that's like, unless you're doing like a beauty something, you don't need all that light on you, especially if, I mean, if you're trying to play PUBG, you don't need a spotlight in your eyeball. Um, it's like you put it in places to reflect light and just kind of highlight enough to where, you, again, you don't look like you're dying on camera, because, you know, that would be a whole other kind of stream. And <laughs> the other thing, too, is depending on the lighting that you're using, different frequencies of light give off, you know, a different hue, a different color, a heat mm -hmm. or coolness. And if you are in the position where you're going to have to wear makeup, uh, then you're going to probably have to do some trial and error sometimes too, I think. Um, but there's a lot of cool brands and mm -hmm. she knows a lot of them. And so, yeah. uh, and uh, what, I think CoverGirl is local here in Baltimore. Battle-worthy cosmetics. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you messed uh, it up. Which, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so that also keeps us focused, which is our next topic, keeping focused. We know that there is so much cool what? stuff going on. Yeah, what? Huh? Uh, there's so much cool stuff going on the, out in the streaming world that someone sometimes you're going to be like, well, they're doing this, and it's super awesome. I need to do that, even though you've already maybe built your brand and built your shtick. Don't always follow that 
crazy trend because it may you you may not translate to it and it may not translate to you you know so keeping focused in your brand and, and in your community that you're trying to build because you don't want to have any community confusion either which is um, I've had a few times where we we've, we've done that I used to do a show called uh, cosplay poker and uh, yeah people were very confused and not really happy with it, so we don't do that no more. <laughs> um, but yeah, Did they think it was strip poker? It was the opposite. Well, you had no cosplayers. Oh. <laughs> we did. We oh, had cosplayers did. Okay. come in, but we didn't actually start off in, in cosplay. We had, oh. like, so much gear. And then as you, like, we had Ming Chen from Comic Book Man come on, and that still didn't do good. <laughs> and uh, it was like, uh, as, instead of strip poker, sorry, uh, it was putting... <laughs> Cosplay items on based on failure. This is worse than It was <laughs> awesome. I thought it was a lot of fun, but it it just it was confusion because people would tune in, and be like, "Where are the cosplayers?" And then by the end of the show, I have a boa, a unicorn horn, rabbit ears. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then they're like, "What?" False advertisement. <laughs> what is this? Um, but yeah, so keeping focus to your stream, to your shtick, and to your brand is really important. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't expand, but you may have to start another stream on, you know, to give that brand, it, that community, its taste of what you want to do. If you are, because you don't want to convolute what you're trying to do here. You know what I mean? Um, in, the, in the beginnings of game trade media, it was just comic wow. And we were doing board game stuff. And I went to my boss and I was like, hey, this makes no sense to direct <laughs> people to comic wow to watch board games and tabletop stuff. Let's start this other thing. Yeah. And the yeah. other thing has destroyed everything else. <laughs> game media has just destroyed everything else in regards to uh, popularity and community building and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so it really, you know, we have these three platforms, but keeping Sorry. focused, keeping your shtick is really important yeah here's, here's a good example look at this guy <laughs> <laughs> that's a hell of a shtick that's a hell of a shtick a hell of a shtick yeah i like it i like hats yeah and you got you know all, all sorts of people that have their thing yeah for sure well, I mean, like Some our, simple. our yeah. stick is uh, local comic shops, and so we always default to that. And, uh, you know, even if we're talking to a gaming audience, we try to find a way to, like, steer people towards, like, comic shops. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's important to just kind of, like, lock that down. Early on, too, we, I, we, were, we had a benefit. We were doing videos for a year, so we mm -hmm. knew kind of what our theme was. But, yeah, we locked it down, and we kept with it, and we're going to stick with it because that's our audience. It's true. Yeah. And for those that don't know, you can go to Previews Weekly. Dot com. Uh, previews right. World Weekly. Oh, well, PreviewsWorld.com, sorry. Pre PreviewsWorld.com, and it has everything that we're talking about on there, um, as well as a ton of, you know, comic and gaming and pop culture news and uh, all sorts of kind of fun stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, also on YouTube as well. Yeah. Just go to the YouTube. Just go to YouTube. <laughs> which takes us to our next topic in this set, which is setting goals and improving your stream. Mm -hmm. When we've talked about the basics and uh, that you don't need the big gear to start mm -hmm. off, eventually you're going to want to get to those those things. You're going to want to you're going to want some better gear. You're going to have You're going to want a second a cam or want, yeah, little things, yeah. Better lighting, um, a better system. Uh, so setting goals can just be as easy as saying by January 15th I want 50 new followers. By July, I want 250 or 300. And again, followers. utilize those overlays. Having that little um, that little donation ticker or follower ticker, subscriber ticker, yeah. um, and the notifications and acknowledging when someone follows you, acknowledging when someone subs, one second, um, and any of that kind of stuff. That's why they're there is they want to interact with you. They want to communicate with you. And when you have that little you know, a little tally going on. They're like, ooh, I contributed to that. I changed that line. I, you know, I affected it, which is why they're there in the first place to watch you is to, again, to connect with you, to affect your day as well as you're affecting theirs. Go ahead. Um, Streamlabs. Streamlabs is a good one. Um, I mentioned earlier, now they have a system where it's Streamlabs OBS. So everything is all in one. Now they have widget themes. They have like 500 different setups, like the one I did here. Um, you can kind of see this is all from the system. All I did was 
copy and paste some things, move some things around, and um, you know, and it's I, I don't have to worry about going into Photoshop and making my own frame overlay or this or anything like that. My my set, setup is at home is a lot different again because I'll have like a little. Um, thing that will flip through photos of projects I've done or like things like that or here's the project I'm working on now and so it's got photos of that and so it's got a little more intricate but I mean if you're gaming and stuff like that realistically you just need one little box over there and then you can have your donation you can have your sub notification how many people are watching you know, all that kind of stuff is exciting to watch because it's Absolutely. it's live you're interacting it's yeah. you know yeah. And Twitch really helps with setting goals because they have yeah. all those things you need to accomplish to get to different to get to affiliate, affiliate yeah. partner and all that stuff. Yeah. So that will help you with your goal setting if Twitch is going to be your primary platform uh, of streaming. But if you're just like, I just want to do YouTube or I just want to do... Um, Even just Facebook, yeah. yeah you're Facebook wanna... has a great ses uh, setup now for... Yeah, but it's really games. basic, yeah. And they yeah. have, they have um, different sub-platforms now of um, Facebook gaming and mm -hmm. Facebook creative and yeah. things like that, so. So those will help you set your goals, but also set those goals for yourself that you may not be, you know, I wanna have a, a, a DSLR camera that I can stream with that's at a higher, a 4K rate or a higher rate. So, you know, set those goals as well and how you wanna to get to those goals. And uh, one of the things that gets you those is consistency. I'm gonna talk about consistency every time. You gotta be consistent. Mm -hmm. You gotta be in front of your fan base's faces all the time. And if you tell them you're going to be there, be there. And someone on the chat chimed in saying, if someone isn't great with graphics, they can find assets through Invato. They run sites like GraphicRiver.net. So if that helps you guys. And uh, Thank you, JR stream, Videography. Um, <laughs> and that's all part of that improving your stream is yeah. getting those better overlays, getting graphics, um, getting more familiar with it. Because this is, is if, if, if you want to make money at this, and I'm not saying everybody wants to, some people just want to get their content out there and, mm -hmm. and just be part of the community. But if you want to make money at this, um, improving your stream is important and also learning all these tools. Um, granted, a lot of the tech stuff I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's why I have a team <laughs> and it's nice. <laughs> I can be like Johnny, Leona, Caleb, do that thing. You do yeah. the magic and the stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and we're going to need this going on over here yeah. and this over here. Yeah. I need lightning bolts to fly out of the sky. <laughs> and, you know, and they're like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doop. Yeah. Um, so it takes us into our, like, our little final like, talking piece um, before we get into like, Q&A and stuff is what's your brand? Um, how do you want to be known in the industry with your brand? Um, and that's, I, I only bring this up because there's some things that, as somebody who will help support everybody as a streamer, there are certain things where I'll, as soon as I see it happen on a stream, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna help them so much. <laughs> um, and the reason I say that is because- Because he's you old. To market yourself and make yourself marketable to sp potential sponsors, um, there's things that you gotta take into, Excuse me, consideration, which is, I don't like a lot of expletives mm -hmm. in a stream. If every other word is an F bomb mm -hmm. or something like that, mm -hmm. hey, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be like, pass. Um, just because that's, that's a difficult thing for me to get by because a, a lot of our content is streamed in game shops and comic book stores where a lot of kids are potentially at. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but, there are sponsors and there are companies out there that that's not a problem for them. As long as you're drawing, pulling in the numbers, they're going to be slate. Gotcha. But that was me, Johnny Rose, by the way, who gave us the tip. Uh, Speaking of our editor. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, but he's watching. Take into consideration <laughs> how you want to be known in the industry. So, yeah. so Natasha, how do you want to be known in the industry? Uh, as a badass. As a, well, that's that's a given. There you go. <laughs> that's a I given. also play roller derby, by the way. So I mean, that's kind of my shtick, I guess. Um, I'm a cosplaying roller derby badass, right? Um, no, I mean, uh, what I want to be known in the, in the industry is definitely, uh, hopefully, for my creative side and making costumes. I don't just make costumes for myself. I make it for our four-year-old and our 15-year-old. Yeah. And um, if you ever saw the video of the little baby Mercy running down the hall yelling, "Heroes never die," that's our daughter. Um, you should Google it because it's amazing. <laughs> the whole goal was just to show her outfit, her, show her Mercy costume, and she wouldn't hold still for a picture. So I just recorded her down the hallway, and she started yelling, "Heroes never die!" Because she's glorious. four. You know, at the time she was like three, so it's it's not never. It was never. Yeah, <laughs> and it's really really cute. But what I want to be known is like um, the. Uh, 
for the streaming part, I mean, obviously, like, just being fun and lighthearted, I like to um, help people's day, I guess, yeah. um, by showing them, like, cool artsy stuff. And I troubleshoot, like, when I make something on stream, I didn't pre-plan anything. I didn't pre, like, I'm, you're seeing the whole process from square one, and I always feel like, hopefully maybe I can help someone. And the cool part is a lot of times I'll have people come on my stream and give me tips like while I'm making something. And that's really helpful and awesome because it's like, you know, I can't figure out how to do this. And somebody's like, hey, why don't you flip it over or do this or this? And I'm like, shit, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, like, cool, thank you. Um, and uh, and just s spotlighting the little guy. Yeah. That's that's yeah. what what my big thing is. Like on my YouTube channel, I plan on um, going to local comic shops. We have a great uh, website, comicshoplocator.com, and um, where you can literally punch in your address and find the local comic shop near you, um, or one not so near you, or near your friend, or whoever. And utilizing that and um, spotlighting the smaller comic shops that don't people might not know about, and um, go check them out because a lot of times those are like mom and pop owned kind of places, and they don't have the money to market or anything like that. But they have like great shops and they walk in like um, in Arbutus there's a great one called uh, Universal Comics and the first time well, I just moved here a couple years ago and when that was the first shop we ever went to and we walked in and they treated us like comic fans not oh you're a female you're clearly just here with your husband because he likes comics you don't you know that kind of deal like they treated all of us including my daughters as comic fans and that you know I want to be able to spotlight people like that so that's perfect yeah, <laughs> yeah. perfect for my job right the reason I say that is that's exactly who you are we, as you, uh, how you present yourself in all the videos you do with us yeah. is, is that individual. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all, she's very fun when she does talking toys. Not only does she do uh, the videos, but she takes a lot of fun pictures with the toys and the, <laughs> yeah. the statuary. My, yeah, my, my new thing uh, just started a couple weeks ago is whatever, I'm doing an action pose behind the figurine or collectible. So like it could be something like um, Gwenpool jumping over pizza boxes and I'm trying to do that exact same pose. Yeah. <laughs> inside of it it's, it's on of it's on my instagram now it's ridiculous but it's a lot of fun and you know and, and yeah i'm there to do a job and i'm talking about the particular item and stuff like that but like there's so there's a reason they hired me for that job is i'm a huge fan of so much and i geek out and you know and Legit. it's it's i have to tone it down a little bit while i'm filming stuff but afterwards as soon as it's like okay we're, we're rolled i'm like oh my god look at this this is rad like oh and my oh let me tell you they had to crop a lot on the talking toys princess bride um oh, yeah. one dread pirate roberts when i did his i threw out so many lines and whatever they kept maybe two of them but i mean i was like i was going crazy oh, yeah, yeah yeah i was going crazy <laughs> how about you troy what do you want to be known at um i actually gave this a lot of thought i want to be known as the new comic book store guy that's my goal because mm -hmm. uh you know you have the stereotype of the comic book store guy and like you know it's it's yeah, <laughs> this guy right here. No, Example like, A. And while, <laughs> I, while I love that guy because I grew up with that guy and um, everything, but like at the same time, uh, you know, I want to be able to, for people to recognize that they can come to me and talk about comics. They can talk to me about the industry. Mm -hmm. um, I'm happy to give them suggestions. I get a lot of people like, oh, I read comics, but I'm not really into it anymore. I'll, I'll tell you what you should read based off of your interest. Like, I want people to approach me like See, he's that got way. that thing, but I just like to call him Brainiac. There you go. Because he, the amount of knowledge this guy has yeah. is nuts. Like when we were doing Previews World Weekly together, we'd talk like a particular comment. He would suddenly give you the whole history of that artist, what they did in the, like yeah. the last 20 years, this and how they branched off to the, like it's, this right. guy's really, really smart it's in comics. And all back here. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. But that would be my goal is like, yeah, comic book store I love guy. That. I want to be the new comic book store guy. And that means... Hey, so, comic store guy! And then <laughs> something that you should take into consideration is how do you want to be known in the industry? What do you want to be? And what part of that industry or this live streaming... How about you, Rick? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to be... That's it. I just want to be relevant. That's it. Uh, well... Don't we all? You be careful with that. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Um, but that takes us into the next uh, part, which is making yourself marketable. And when yeah. I say that is because there are people that are watching everything that we're doing, anybody's doing on the live on their live streams, and those individuals are are going to be like, "Hey, I want this person as a uh, like a champion for my product or my my brand." And they're not just watching your stream too; they're going to watch your Instagram, your Facebook. Yeah. I mean, all social media. They could just Google you and um, see everything you're doing. And if you're, say you want to be sponsored by a particular brand, but yeah. clearly your behavior is not something that brand wants, right. you have to think about those things. Like, yeah. yeah, you can have fun and be crazy and things like that, but if you want to have some like legit 
yeah. thing going on, you can't just, you know, be well, knocking you over drugstores and stuff. You want to be sponsored by armorclass10.com t-shirts. Wow, nice to plug that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying it's... The, Kirk and watch, Corey. ...watching what you're doing, yeah. so make yourself marketable. If, if you are a cosplayer who is, like, into the sewing aspect... You know, talk about the sewing machines that, that you're using. Oh yeah, or, or the or the linens and or, or, or hashtags are your friends. Yeah. Yeah. All the things that you're, <laughs> you're utilizing in your stream, market those because those individuals are going to come back and watch what you're doing, and eventually they're going to be like, you know what, your you, lifetime supply of, of needles or, or what? Who knows? Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> who knows? I, yeah, that'd be so great. Um, but it, it's all about making yourself marketable in live streaming, and it's very important because. If you want this to be a supplemental income or an eventually a income source for you, mm -hmm. uh, all of your social media platforms have to kind of sing the same song. All right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, the marketing side of the companies that are looking at you, like Monster. Or, um, I just picked one up yesterday. What's that? Volante. It's this amazing uh, coat clothing company. They make stuff that looks like Assassin's Creed jackets. Oh, yes. oh nice. And they're going to send me one to wear on the show. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> But and yeah. I literally just wrote them asking, like joking around, like, hey, can I borrow one of your jackets for like a year and wear it on the show? And they sent me an email back saying, actually, we would love to have you. Mm -hmm. with, like they watched some of the videos and they said, we'd love to have you wear one of our coats. Yeah. Like, what do you want? Do you want something from Assassin's Creed? Do we have a new line of this? Like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that Willow that got hold of you? Yep. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I'm going to try that now. <laughs> Um, yeah. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, being an edge lord, it gets yeah. you views, but it doesn't pay the bills. So, like, you know, you really have to balance it. That's something I had to learn. Like, I mean, it's just like, you know, you have to sometimes nuke your Twitter and start over. Yep. So, <laughs> there you go. Sometimes you have to. <laughs> uh, which takes us into consistency. Uh, just a reminder Yo. be consistent. Mm -hmm. kind of um, and then also inclusivity. You, may, you know, uh, let everybody in yeah. until they don't need to be there. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I say that because we know the trolls exist. Mm -hmm. Am I fired, Rick? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> but there let everybody go. in until right. they don't need to be in. And, and if they're doing the things that are not in focus with what you're trying to accomplish, if they're being trolls, if they're just, yeah. you know, assholes, mm -hmm. you, that's Ooh, where you can do mouth. your thing and be blocked, banned, whatever. But include everybody until uh, you don't need to. Until you have to kick some people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I, um, which I mean, just like with any business, if somebody's not helping you be successful, cut the fat. Though fat and steak is really good. That's tough. Just ban yeah. Swift and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> and those are and those will be your just drop the X, okay. <laughs> that's that's a funny that you say that because those sometimes will be your worst fans. Yeah, is yeah. your because they're not because they're not fans and they're just there to troll you and they don't understand you stand it or you know yeah they could respect you as a friend but really they're not respecting what you're doing and they think they're supporting by being there but they're just you know, they're not. Yeah. I mean, I've banned my a lot of my my talking family, to you, honey. Just kidding. My personal family <laughs> because they my family doesn't get what we do mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, they just don't get it. And when they'll come on and be like, are you really painting a miniature right now? And I'll be like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's like my job. I do. Yeah. yeah. I and I'm get getting paid, paid for, for it. it. What's up? And they'll say something, and I'll be like, and I'll tell Johnny. He's like, hey, Johnny, can you ban my brother? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, what? I was like, yeah, that's my brother. That guy. Can Kick you? him out of here. Yeah. Ban him. Don't let him back yeah. in. Yeah. And I'll get a call afterwards. My brother will be like, hey, man, why'd you do that? And I was like, because... You're not, you yeah. You're, you're not adding. You're not adding anything to our yeah. community. Yeah. And like, I'll talk to you on Facebook, bro. I'll come see you up in Michigan where it's nice and cold. But uh, no, nah, you don't need to be in my chat making my viewers uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, um, from the, the chat here, it says, you have to be professional. And if your friends don't respect that, they need to take a step back. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Again, that's from our editor. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> He's the one that takes those awesome action photos of me, by the way, at the mm -hmm. studio that makes me look really good. It's like at the end of filming, I'm like, hey, can, do you mind? Here's my, like, I hand him my phone. Can you take some photos for me? And he's like, sure. And I, I'm like, yes, because they're so much better than me trying to take a selfie or something. <laughs> so that I leads us it. to like our final before the Q&A. And this is the most important one for building your brand is networking. Yes. Um, as you are here in this space right now, you are networking. Remember, follows are free. <clears throat> Sharing, if you can't support a streamer financially or you don't want to or you don't want to sub, um, but you dig what they're doing, share it. Mm -hmm. 
share their link, share their photo, share like their photo, um, anything. It can be as simple as that. Like, like, hey, you know, you like this too. Why don't you check out this guy? Or, you know, or, um, yeah. hey, look, uh, I'm totally going to watch this today. Why don't you guys come watch it with me? Or, you know, because now Facebook can do watch parties or, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, little things like that. Just liking a photo, liking a photo on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And it, it, because maybe it's not that important to you. You kind of dig it, but somebody else might, now that pops up on your, your feed and people are like, oh, hey, what's that? My friend liked it. That's pretty cool. And it just, you know, and, and then they tell two friends and, and they tell two friends. And networking, and they tell is, a good, <laughs> networking is a good tool for like kind of cheating to get views too. Like always, mm -hmm. like we've had a lot of conversations about like, we'll do that here in a minute. Yeah, yeah, all right. Here you go. Like, like we, like we've had conversations actually recently about like going onto other people's streams mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. letting them know about it. So make friends, like you know, extend your network mm -hmm. and help them out and help each other out. So. My right. husband will go on people's streams and chime in and say hi and like, you know, they'll recognize his name, um, his his gamer tag or anything like that. Sometimes they don't. And he's like, hey, it's his whatever his name is and um they'll be like oh my god hi and then oh make sure you go check out his stream too and like we have we have friends um that we've made through other streams um like studio j7 is an awesome dude if you like creative anything like he paints minis he makes insane stuff out of foam like that is so detailed and awesome and we became friends with him probably a year or so ago just from I was just watching you know his stream and interacting and like and now we're like pals and all this stuff will come on and instantly like he'll has his bot like as soon as I'll write something his bot will say hey go follow Canada X for a creative stream and it, like things like that and it's just an awesome it's like you know a high five or a handshake to your friend like hey I support you here's a little nudge and now you know suddenly I'll have five new followers or like whatever and and it's just so it's so easy and it's I like I don't care how big you get, like, take take a hide of the little guy because that's you. You weren't always that big. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. what I'm gonna do is, again, hands up. Who's who streams on Twitch right now? All right. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. Lady with her hand up with a silver glove. You stand up for me, please, gentlemen. Hold on. I'm gonna turn the. I'm gonna turn this. I like hats. Stand there up real go. quick. All right. And you're on my stream right now at Canon Doll X. Say hi. All right. Hi, so hi. I'm going on Twitch right now. And if you guys have Twitch on your phone, I'd recommend doing it. What's your, what's your handle? Yeah, I'll let's follow all follow each other. How fun is that? There you go. What is that? That I think, gamer. Do I follow you already? That sounds familiar. <laughs> that <laughs> gamer. Yeah. I That's who you. my husband is, by the way. If you haven't. I yeah. Those you. guys suck. <laughs> what's yours? Okay, I'm gonna get yours after. <laughs> everybody, get his handle, and everybody else in here. That's what this is. If you're to. here, do this. If you're on, if you can go to your Twitch right now, go to mine, and in the chat, everyone put their thing. Say hi. I'm at the panel. Hi, I'm at the panel, and then we can go on there and follow everybody. Yes, because yeah. we want. I want to follow everybody in this room. Feel free to follow me while you're there. On every platform <laughs> that you're on, uh, and, and and help everybody yeah. that's here. I'd like to help you build your channels if I can. Yeah. What are you streaming on your uh, Canon, X, C-A-N-N-O-N, D-O-L-L-X, like X-Men. So Canon like the weapon, doll like Barbie, and X like X-Men. <laughs> I forgot, I also have a second uh, stream that I do with a co-hosting, mm -hmm. and it's Uber Uber Cool. View. Awesome, that'll I'll be on there. So th I'm here. Oh, I love it. Shout out to another uh, streamer in here that I actually have streamed with before. The young lady right here in the front is part of uh, hey. Coven MTG. Oh, I watched that. <laughs> it's a bunch of uh, females that play um, Magic the Gathering mm -hmm. as, a, as their main focus. Yeah, I've seen it. It's pretty fun. Yeah, Seth. And we're also doing D&D. Yeah, I run one of you. I run. I run one of the games. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right. I'll He's take, all right. I'll take lovely every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's kind of, um, charity stream. Awesome. Yeah. And that's, that's, <laughs> that's one of the best ways to hit those goals that Twitch give you is doing this. If you're in mm -hmm. here, if you have a Twitch handle, you should be sharing with everybody else in here that has a Twitch channel. Mm -hmm. And then setting up like, hey, on Sundays is my 
big thing, please follow me and or raid, send a raid my way or do something to, to bolster those channels so that those goals are being met for everybody because that's community building and that's part of networking. Wait, who's a blacksmith beekeeper? Awesome. Very cool. Are you going to be at the Man at Arms panel tomorrow? Right. <laughs> 1230. Across the hall. I'm also going <laughs> to keep a, a pad of paper up here. So afterwards, if everybody, if you didn't do that, if you didn't log on there and do that, you can also put uh, your handle, either Twitch or YouTube mm -hmm. channel or uh, Facebook, if you do Facebook Live, whatever platform you like to play on, put put the platform, put your handle or, or where we can find you. Yeah. And I'll follow every one of you and uh, I'll help you guys build your channels. That's that's what we're here to help. Yeah. Um, and so that's networking. So our, our final thoughts, we're in our Q&A spot now. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, uh, please ask them. You can, uh oh Beekeeper that, guy. Uh oh <laughs> Your shirt's awesome. Honey, look at his shirt. Sorry. Sure. Do it. My husband does that. He when he's not blacksmithing, he's gaming. So like I said before, though, is um, keeping focused. If your fan base is mainly watching you for those two things, you may want to start a separate channel that is focused on the gaming side that, or any of the I wouldn't. weird content you want to put together. Honestly, I, say I weird, wouldn't. I mean lovely because that's just how I use the word weird. Um, is, you know, keep the consistency, keep the focus, unless your fandom and your followers are already kind of in that realm as well. Yeah. Ask your but you friends. never know. Yeah, I mean, Twitch is, yeah. All right. All right, well, then ask, I would also ask, I ask Do it, game, Yeah. game. Uh, when you, because I mean, clearly that's your, your blacksmith heavy, and if obviously weather doesn't let you do it, game, so at least you're still interacting with your community. You're still talking to those fans, and they might be, be like, you know, the ones that want to watch your game are going to stick around and watch your game, and um, they, you might actually get more people to your blacksmith stream from the gaming side. Yeah. So, go ahead. Ah, be, be reference. <laughs> Yeah. Reruns. Yeah. Yeah. They do. They totally do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Throw throw the reruns up. The reruns are cool. I know I like um, Game Trade Media throws the reruns up. Um, some of the other creative streamers that I follow, um, sometimes they stream when I'm at work or I'm doing something else, and so they'll throw up a rerun, and I'll get to I'll be like, oh yeah, I wanted to watch that earlier today, and now I get to go watch it because it reminded me. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Hmm? Anybody else? Yep. Sure. Mm -hmm. Man, that is a, something that we had a problem with for a long time. <laughs> yes. Uh, and know, then they found me. There you go. They found me. <laughs> uh, yeah, finding the person, the right person to put in front of the camera for someone like you who's, who's doing behind the scenes content for uh, an, a corporation is whew, sometimes key. You, it's, you, yeah, have, it's going to it's gonna make or break your channel. Yeah. 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 You, you may have to hire somebody, but I'm, I'm betting there might be somebody in that space that you probably already think would work and I, and all it is is broaching an individual because where we work at at diamond comic distributors take i bet you can imagine that a lot of those individuals are not camera people <laughs> where they're just in their cubicle looking at and talking and being very awkward which is hey. fine you know that hey, that's dude. fine but not everybody can be in front of the camera Shut um up. i mean it took me forever no, to, almost three years stuff. to get him in front of the camera <laughs> 
I was like, I need you in front of the camera. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. (laughs) I didn't want to do it. I was like, you know, you're you're immersed in it. And that's another thing, too, is who's truly immersed in the content and product that you're you're trying to highlight. Mm -hmm. Uh, Oh, shit. Yeah, that's important, too. But good luck finding that individual. Sometimes you have to hire out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough one. It's something we struggle with 100%. All the yeah. Time. yeah. Yeah, it's only going actually, yeah. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Yeah. Find find what works for you and it can be simple as like a couple hours. Yeah. Um I don't know if you're a Twitch affiliate yet or anything like that, but um you are? Okay, then you, honestly once you hit that mark, you don't have to worry about it. you could stream for an hour. Stream for two hours, stream for three hours. It doesn't have to be an all day thing. You could, you, you know what, you could be like, okay, well, I got this. I know I need to do, you know, X, Y, and Z, but I still want to stream. So pick a day, one day, two days, um, three, three days if you can, you know, whatever, um, and pick that time slot that works where you know you can fit at least, you know, at least an hour, at least this. So you're at least creating content. You're putting stuff out there. You're connecting with your community. And if you're doing that consistently, your community knows that, oh, okay, I know it. Five o'clock on Wednesday nights is when you're going to stream. I know I'm going to be there. I'm going to. They will plan stuff around it, or at least make sure they have the notifications. So wherever they are, they can watch you. Yeah. So yeah. It is. It is. Uh, be realistic yeah. with your it, schedule. It's also a challenge. Yeah. Like if you have a, a, a what I like to call a muggle job, if you have a muggle <laughs> life, and you want to continue to do the wizarding world of streaming, you, you know, you it should be a T-shirt now. Yeah. yeah I know, right? TM. Um, Got it. And family, if you have family that First. you have to also juggle, it's literally yeah. communicating with your, your partner to be like, hey, I want this to be a thing and I want to make this grow and having that communication so that, you can, that they are supportive uh, and then just saying oh God, these times are when I want and then you just got to be consistent in that and then stick to it and let your community know that those are the times that you do it and that should work for you. Thanks I for think. the cheers. And yes. Right there. Aw. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I just like to say I really like your dress. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a thing, a time issue. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Because a lot of those heavy hitter streamers are like, you know, 10 hours a day, like every day. Yeah. It, it, it says they also did it for safety, because um, mm. they, they said that a lot of the streamers that they know have had people like go after their family. Sure. Mm. Personally, I don't want to have to do that. Mm. Because I, I am fairly active in my particular MLB. Sure. And um, <coughs> I was just wondering if you guys might Create a different persona. Have a secret identity. Um, yeah, like create like your own thing. Like um, for me, Canon Doll X is my other side of things, my realtor side. It wasn't until I started working for Comic Con and everything else that I just showed up as Natasha. Mm-hmm. Like, because usually I was Canon Doll X everywhere. I mean, I've had this name. I've been playing roller derby 13, 14 years now, something like that. Um, I'm derby old. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, and so it was like, you know, here I'm known as Canon Doll X, things like that. So people can't, you know, if you Google search Canon Doll X, yeah, you see my pictures, you see Canon Doll X everywhere, but you don't see, you know, the other side of things. And like, so I have like a personal page on Facebook, but then I have a fan page also for, you know, everything else. All the stuff that I want people to see and be able to find and whatever are all over there. So, you know, everything else is my own. So um, just create a persona, have, have you know, a different, I mean, you know, you get to pick your own handle. So having something like that that doesn't connect to your other community could be your, your key to keeping that um, yeah. secret life. But the other thing too is if you're, if you're worried about the potential of either being removed from a community that you're really involved in, um, again, that's <laughs> that balancing of time that you have to take into consideration. And if someone, pushes you out of that community because something else you're doing, uh, maybe that's not a community that. you really wanted to be a part of. Super you awesome. know what I mean? If, if that community can't support you for anything else you want to do, regardless of what it is, that's, that's toxic, 
and you don't want to be a part of that. Yeah. So, and if anybody and don't in do here does that makes get you uncomfortable. When someone is stre stressing you out or, or bothering you, uh, again, that's another good thing about this community. Or about I'll come over there with my roller skates and we'll take care of it. Let us know too. <laughs> let, let let your friends know. Let the people that do support you know that you're having these issues and the support will flow in to help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like five will show up, and that's right. not enough. Yeah. Um, join all of the Facebook groups. Um, there's a lot of Twitch support out there. There's a lot of, um, you know, like uh, helpful groups that are follow for follow groups or this or like we're on a few. Yeah. Um, and and it's really great because you can post, hey, I'm streaming today. This is what I'm, you know, what content I'm sharing, and people will come watch you or like sometimes somebody will post, hey, I want to follow any streamer that has under this amount, you know, and you know you throw your tag up there. Suddenly you got like a bunch of new streamers, and some of them might, you know, just like Instagram, some of them might not be legitimate followers, but hey, your numbers are growing, and um, some again. Somebody who might not have um, seen your content before, but somebody liked it, so it popped up over here, and again, it can just trickle down. Um, and utilize all of that accessibility for free marketing, Instagram, yeah. hashtag things. I, when I'm posting things about Twitch, I literally tag Twitch and Twitch Creative on the photo itself because sometimes they'll see it and they'll like it and then people will see that they liked it and then you know come over and it's it all connects it all connects and just utilize it use those hashtags use Twitter you know a lot of people think Twitter is not alive other than somebody but um, Twitter actually works really well for you throw in the proper hashtag and um, even simple things like you know literally putting hashtag RT because suddenly there's there are actual Twitter accounts that just search through that and will retweet your yep. tweet. And then suddenly, again, it'll be more active. Other people will see it. It just will drum it up. Does that I mean, help? I can't, I can't okay. emphasize enough. <laughs> I can't emphasize enough community. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, I mean, that's tell your friends. Yeah. yeah. Just in general, like yeah. you said, like, tell your friends, get on their shows, talk with them, mm -hmm. make yourself available to other people. Um, but also, don't fall for any like flavor of the month, uh, like, attempts to like, get follows and likes and stuff like that. I like Yeah, it doesn't always yeah. stick through. But and and again, yeah, I mean talk to your friends, talk to your community if you're you have Try different groups. Authentic. Like, hey, I'm gonna stream. Can you guys share that I'm gonna stream right now? Can yeah. you share this? If you don't if you don't want to follow me, that's cool, but can you share because somebody else might want to, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah. And the other thing too is rewarding your fans mm -hmm. uh, helps build your community. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So giving away free stuff helps. It doesn't, yeah. doesn't hurt. I do, <laughs> yeah. do it all the time. All the time. But the, rewarding your fans, if your goal is to get 1,000 followers, your fans help you get there. Thank Reward you. your fans and then tell them, hey, and if you guys, if we get to the next, um, our next goal here on this channel, mm -hmm. this is the next reward. Yeah. yeah. So that's all. And it, can, and it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be crazy. It could be like, hey, you know, you can, um, I'm going to do this giveaway and if you somebody follows or blah 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 you know you can be my admin for the day or yeah. you know it doesn't have to be actual mm -hmm. stuff it can be other cool stuff or Absolutely. things or again it's that community and interaction so you know if they're like oh cool like i get to be admin of this person's channel like i am in control yeah. i have the you know Power. master of the universe <laughs> and um and it may not seem like a lot to you but it's a lot to that person i've so. also i've also found that like asking people about what they think helps i mean yes. it, it is the internet at the end of the day and everybody has an opinion so you might as well weaponize that in some way shape or form <laughs> you know and uh, you're going to get a lot of crazy comments but at the same time like people are engaging with you and you get to filter out if you want to spotlight certain people or whatever so yeah, community, yeah. community, community. All right, yeah. So we have only two minutes left here in the in the hall. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I think. Any other questions? Yeah. Hey, we have All one right. right here. So one last one. Yeah. So this was an issue that I was dealing with with white content earlier on, but uh, I wanted to ask uh, for people who make really niche content, mm -hmm. really out there, different. So you know, you're streaming, you're going down Twitch, and you see this one video, and it's just I don't know, unicycle juggling or whatever. Uh huh. <laughs> so what was that? Completely yeah. Completely <laughs> Wasn't it the thing? I mean, like, we're kind of all niche content. I mean, in a way. Uh, yeah. Utilize, utilize, yeah. utilize those hashtags yeah. and then throw in ones that may not even directly 
pertain to you. Like pick ones that are popular at the time or like trending, things like that. Cause then it's gonna grab people and they're gonna be like, wait, what is this unicycle writing dude doing? Mm -hmm. Like, this is, what is this? Like, this is yeah. cool, yeah. I mean, that's so, the freedom of the internet. Like it gives yeah. everybody an audience. You just gotta find them. Also, it's like, if this is something you really wanna do, Ouch. you're investing in your own future, don't, don't be afraid to invest in advertising. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the cheers. Like, you're targeting a specific audience. Oh, sorry. All right, everybody, we appreciate every one of you coming in today and, and uh, listening to us talk and asking the great questions that you did. Uh, if you want to, I'm going to set this pad of paper over to the side over there. If you want to write down your, your handles, I will follow every single one of you. You'll see either Geektography or uh, Game Trade Media, depending on what platform you're, you're, you're uh, on at the time. You're, you're, you're running around <laughs> on, or uh, Geek House Live. Those are kind of my, my three that I mm -hmm. run with. And then uh, I'll make sure everybody else gets it as well. And uh, have a wonderful con. This is, oh, wow. this is my first MAGFest, so it's, it's pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys.